it's Rani with Let's Talk Violin. If you've just started playing the violin, you may have come across a lot of new terminology. In this video, I'm going to cover all the basic parts of the violin and the bow. Some of these words may sound a bit weird, but knowing them is really helpful because it will speed up your learning process and help you better understand how the violin works. So let's start with the violin itself. The violin has many parts. Here are the most important ones to know from top to bottom. This is the scroll. In addition to looking beautiful, the scroll is the part that holds the tuning pegs. And speaking of tuning pegs, here they are. These turn up and down to tune our strings. This part is called the neck. This is where the left hand holds the violin both during playing and during rest. While our left hand is on the neck, our fingers go on the fingerboard. And of course, these are the strings. Without the strings, the violin would just be a plain wooden box. We create sound by plucking the strings or drawing the bow over them. We change the pitch of the strings by pressing our left hand fingers onto the string along the length of the fingerboard. This very thin piece of wood is called the bridge, and it helps the sound to travel from our strings into the violin. Pro tip, the bridge can be very fragile, so make sure this is always at a 90 degree angle, like in this photo. The bridge can be a little finicky to deal with, so if you're not comfortable moving it around to get it to that perfect 90 degree angle, feel free to consult with a local violin shop. The sound traveling through our bridge would be trapped inside the violin if it weren't for these long openings here called F-holes. This is where the sound comes out of and travels to you. This is the chin rest, and this is where we rest our jawbone. This is the shoulder rest. Not all violinists use one, but it can really help to give you more stability and comfort when you play. The tailpiece is where the bottom of your strings are anchored to the violin. And the tailpiece also holds our fine tuners, which can help us to make very small adjustments to the tuning of our strings. Let's quickly recap all these words. Scroll. Tuning pegs. Neck. Fingerboard. Strings. Bridge. F-holes. Chin rest shoulder rest, tailpiece, and the fine tuners. Now that we've covered the violin, let's move on to the bow. This wooden stick, simply called the stick. This is the bow hair. Did you know that bow hair is taken from a horse's tail? Try to avoid touching the bow hair directly with your fingers, as the oils from our fingers can sometimes affect the sound. This is called the frog. The frog is just the bottom part of the bow, and that's where we hold it with our right hand when we play. The tip of the bow is simply called the tip. The tip is very fragile, so keep it away from the floor. This little screw controls the tightness of our bow hairs. Remember the righty-tighty, lefty-loosey rule. We want the space between the hairs and the stick to be about one to one and a half centimeters. Last but not least, every bow needs something called rosin. Rosin is made out of tree resin, and we rub it into the bow hair to create more friction between the bow hair and the string. Rosin is crucial to producing a good sound, so make sure to grab one of these if you haven't already. I recommend you put some rosin on your bow hair every time you're about to play the violin. And that's it. This is all the basic terminology you need to know to play the violin. If you found this video helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we can keep making this content. Let us know in the comments what other kinds of videos you would like to see. I'm Rani with Let's Talk Violin. Keep calm and play on, and I'll see you in the next video. In addition to looking beautiful, the scroll is... In addition to you looking beautiful... Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow! <laughs>